All right, guys, welcome back to another video here. I had somebody leave me a comment and ask how to get information off another script here and update some UI with that script here. So more or less how to pass information between scripts, okay? So let's explore that a little bit. So first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and right click here. I'm gonna go to uh, UI here and let's just make a text. And we'll just call this something like high score. And we'll bring this into focus here. And what we'll do is we'll make this centered in the screen here. Cool R on my keyboard there. Oops, make this a little bigger. Shift and Alt here. Let's make this centered and then centered. Let's make this white here. And let's just say something like score colon, just so we can see it right now. And let's make it size 80. So in our previous video here, I'll tell you what, let's make that just a touch bigger too. 120 and then bold and italic from here, okay? In a previous video, what we did was we made a new c -sharp script here and we'll call this just UI for right now. And we attached the UI onto something in scene here. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. And if you guys didn't see this video, I'm gonna go kind of fast with this part here. So be sure to check out that video if you guys don't know what I'm doing right now here. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. And we're gonna say using Unity uh, Engine.UI here then semicolon, and then what we'll do is we'll say, hmm, why don't we, we'll do on the start method right now here. Let's get rid of the update here. And on the start method here, we're going to say, uh, first of all, let's go public, text. So a variable of type text here, and we'll call it text. We'll call it, I'll tell you what, score text. This one's a little bit easier here. We're going to say score text dot text, and we're going to set this equal to something like score uh, plus, and we'll say 200 like that. So that should say score is 200 here, okay? I'm going to save this here. I'm going to go back to Unity. And remember, this script right now is looking for a text object here. So I'm going to drag this in there. And now if we hit play, we're going to get this information back there, okay? So that's half of it. But let's say that we had a, maybe a script here for maybe something like player stats, or like game stats, just like that there. And then we go to player stats. Let's open this up here. And let's say that we have something living on scene here where we have something like, you know, a player, let's go uh, int player score. And let's just set this equal to like 87 right off the bat here, okay? So if this script here had that information and my other script didn't, my UI script didn't here, how could I get the information? And of course, maybe you could have th this functionality living on this script here where we update the UI with this here. But sometimes that's not always possible or because of organization, maybe you just want to do these two things separate here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a method here. I'm going to say uh, public, and we'll say uh, int, because we're going to return of type in here, and we're going to say return player, or we'll say, we'll say get players score from here. And we're going to set this up as a method from here. And all that we're going to do is we're going to say return players score from there, okay? So when I call this method here, we're going to get this number back. And what I'm going to do in this script from here is I'm going to say, so all that I'm going to do here now is going to make another int here. So let's say uh, int, and let's call this a uh, score for right now here. And this is going to be equal to find object of type here. And we're going to pass in play stats here, which I made a little typo there. It should be player stats here. And we're going to say dot get player, what do we call it there? Get, get player score back to here get player score as a method here and then semicolon from there find object of type which is not valid i'm sorry this has to be a method from there cool so we have basically what we're doing here is we're looking for this script here in scene here and we're calling this method on this script here and since we're returning this number 87 here that's what we're doing right there that's going to be assigned to this score integer right there so all that do right now is say int from here okay now make sure there's a semicolon i'm sorry not int i'm gonna say score Cool, now let's go back to Unity here. Now this isn't gonna work here because remember we're finding objects in scene here. Since this script here, player stats isn't in scene yet here, it's not gonna work here. So if I try to run this here, we're gonna result in an error right here. So what I need to do is I'm gonna go back to here. I'm gonna make a new, uh, create empty. We'll call this something like player. So we can imagine that, you know, this is our player in scene here. He's doing stuff, he's running around, he's getting points or whatever here. And on the player lives stats. All right, so now I can save this here. So now this script is going to run here and it's going to reach and it's going to define the object in scene here, which is player stats here. It's going to call that method. And it's going to return the player score back down. And now we have score 87 from there, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. One more time here back with the Visual Studio in my UI script here on the start method. So it's being called initially right away here. We're assigning this integer here, this variable here, 
equal to whatever's coming back from here. So we're finding object type, which is this script in scene here. We're getting the player score, which is a method that we made on here, and we're returning this number from here. If I was to update this and say something like, I don't know, uh, 1,000, I don't know, just punch my keyboard for a second there. Let's go right there. Cool. And then we'll return this information back here, and then we're assigning that to the text at runtime here, okay? And now let's go ahead and run this one more time here just to make sure it's still working. And now it works like that there, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed here. I hope you guys learned something here. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to get, give me a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe. If you guys really enjoyed here, I do have a couple of Udemy courses. Links are in the description down below. You guys did a great job, and I hope you guys have a great day.